In today's Adobe XD tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a parallax effect on your website and website can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. Previously, I created a more simple example here on the channel, but as you can see, this uh, design has multiple different sections and it has multiple hover effects on buttons and on links and on stuff like that that and what's great about this approach is that it goes the other way around so if you want to go back to the top you can simply click on any one of these sections and it will take you straight to the top or you can even integrate one further and integrate an icon which is going to go right here in the center which is going to take you straight back here to the top so let's get started Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to create the parallax website effect that you just saw. If you want to follow along, make sure to check out the link in the description to download the practice file and to follow along. Also, while you're there, make sure to check out my membership. Link is also down in the description below. Membership includes all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group, practice files for all of my YouTube tutorials, including this one, and so much more. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out. Once again, links are going to be down in the description below. Now, let's get started with the video. All right, so here is a practice file for today's tutorial. You can see all of the colors, character styles, and components right here on the left-hand side. And this design is actually taken from my Adobe XD Masterclass course. In it, we, we go over 20 hours plus of video content where we create this website from scratch. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out. But if you want to get your hands on this practice file to follow along, make sure to check out the link in the description below, as I said. So what I'm going to do actually is jump into my layers panel right here, select all of my elements and hit Control command G to group them and simply call them website, for example. The, to do this, uh, more simply, I'm going to select my artboard. You can see how high it is. I'm going to reduce it to 1080 like this, and I'm going to call section by section. So this is just going to be a hero section. Control D to duplicate it. And if I select right here, you can see companion is our next section. So let's call it. And you can give it first section, second section, doesn't really matter. And in this one, I'm just going to select my entire website like this and position it roughly around here and then i'm going to take the companion section and adjust it a little bit further and before i go any further i actually want to go and create all of these sections and then create the parallax effect itself so Control d one more time companion i'm going to go right here and call this one credit cards like so and you can see that debit card section is popping in a little bit it doesn't matter simply move it out of the way position this in the center hit Control d one more time double click this and this is going to be debit card like so double click inside or actually move the entire website it's going to be a bit simpler and then create your own i'm going to nudge it down a little bit position this in the center there you go Control d create your own and I'm creating all of these different sections just so that the parallax effect actually works and that it's actually showing up on page because you have to tell Adobe XD which sort of sections do you want to move and which sort of sections uh, you want to stay simple and uh, the original look and feel to them. And why you would actually create this parallax effect in XD rather than directly in code is actually quite simple. You just want to test out how all of these elements look like and you don't want to mess up your code later when it actually comes the time for the actual development. So that's why you will do something like this in Adobe XD. So next section is called gift cards and I'm going to move this once again, position this section roughly around here selected make sure it's in the center and nudge this down a little bit once again it doesn't really matter this is going to be q a so maybe questions like this and this is going to be our second to last section so i'm actually going to nudge this up all the way to here and then select this card and this footer nudge them down select this position it in the center and now finally questions this is going to be footer like this so what I'm actually going to do right here is make sure to nudge this up a little bit to roughly around 100 
and you can see when I move them right here, it's going to pop in at 100 and I'm going to select all of my information and simply nudge this right to here because I want this to be visible and I want to move all of my other sections just a bit to the top because I don't want any disturbance in my design. So if I hit Control Command uh, 0 and snap out of it, you can see we have two, four, six, eight different R ports, which is going to be quite uh, a messy uh, when you create all of these different designs. But what you can do right here is to set a tone and I'm going to show you that in just a second and use that tone throughout your design later in code, which is going to be super simple for you then to implement in code because you can simply create classes, for example, or uh, component states or whatever uh, that you are creating. So here we have the hero section and here we have the perfect daily companion. So first things first, I want to adjust this hero section. So I'm going to select this girl right here, move her out of the way, select all my shapes, move this, maybe rotate this and move it up a little bit, select this line, move it out of the way, select this circle in the background and you can use a layers panel if you want to. I'm just going to now adjust it to here and lower it down in opacity actually. Then I'm going to double click right here and move this line right here to the bottom. Do the same with this one, double click so I can straighten it up. There we go. And now I can move my text all the way out of the way, select this one, move it up, select this one, move it right to here, and then select these two, move this just slightly up and this just slightly down. And you can go even further, you can adjust this cross, you can uh, make sure that this line is all the way out of the page, or you can even nudge it up, just depends of how strong of an effect you want to achieve. Now, next thing to do is, because this is a default state for Perfect Daily Companion, which is how you want our users to see it, then we will adjust it right here. So you can simply select this and jump inside. I'm going to reduce the size of the circle a lot and nudge this card a little bit, maybe even further, something like that. And for this first section of titles, I can simply nudge them right here and I can nudge the text even further like this because we have two different sets of titles. We have this one right here and then we have this one right here because these two are exactly the same and this one is quite similar. Maybe we can adjust them to move to the center and all of these other ones maybe to the left or to the right hand side. Then because we are here, what we can do is what I just said. So select your card and nudge it out of the way right here, nudge it right here and then select these two and move them down in the center like this and perhaps even select this one and align it to here. So before we move on any further and adjust any one of these elements, what you can do is select this one and do the same right here because you don't want to forget where you were previous time. So what we can do is nudge this like this, nudge this like this and move them down in the center like this. Then we can select this section and actually all of it is sort of a repeating. So maybe we can apply the same effect that we did right here and moved it to the left because as I said, we want to keep that consistency. So make sure to select your title, nudge it to the left, and just let's remind ourselves how this one looked like. So the title is to the right, text is to the left. So let's apply the same effect right here. So title to the right, text to the left, and move them all the way right to here. So was it like that? Yes, it was, there we go. Nice and simple. So let's now adjust this one. So what I'm going to do for this one is simply select this card nudge it down and use the same effect which I just show you. But here we have the button. So I can either nudge the button to the side like this, or I can move it out of the way to the bottom. So you can really experiment right here. I'm going to select this image next and nudge it out. Do the same for the text. So like this, then like this and like this. So move them all out of the way. There we go. So they're going to jump into place. For these ones, what we can do with the text is nudge it to the center. There we go. Use this center one, move it down. Use this one, move it right here. Use this one, move it right here. And what we can do is experiment a bit with all of these elements. So I'm going to keep these links where they are, but I'm going to select these three elements, nudge them out, and then Use my shift to deselect, use my shift to deselect again, move this up and then do the same right here. So I'm going to keep the section where it is actually. 
so helpful tools position it roughly around here but as i said i'm going to move these three so like this then like this and finally like this so there we go one last section is this one so for this one i'm going to simply use these two like so move them out and then use the shift to deselect move the logo up a little bit use these two move them out use the shift to deselect and move let's see this one a little bit more and then finally use this one and nudge it down so it aligns with the footer roughly around here and there we go that's our parallax effect completely done all we need to do now is prototype it because we need to actually click somewhere to be able to pull this effect off so when you switch over to your prototype mode you can pick your reference spots so i'm going to use the girl and drag my handle right here to this second artboard i'm going to use the tab auto animate easing out and a long duration of two seconds because if you use something shorter you're going to end up with a bouncy looking effect or of sorts so for this next one we actually want to go back so i'm going to use the title to go back and i'm going to use the paragraph because remember we have loads to move further so select and xd is just going to remember all of your settings there we go there we go use this one to go forward use this one to go back and all of the effects that you applied previously in your design are going to be still there and still working so i'm going to use the title to go back but i'm going to use this center section for example to go forward and finally i can use just this info strip right here to go backwards because this was the last section once again you can use the icon in each and every section to take you to your first stage which is this one right here but you can use this approach as well what i'm going to do finally is test out this approach before i move on to these cards because i don't think they are going to look all that nice with just this effect of the cards moving out so let's select this first one hit play and let me drag it so you can see it so hover effects still work as you saw and when i click on the girl laptop you can see what's going on so all of the hover effects actually still work these credit cards still work and they have their own effects so learn more all of this still works when i click right here it's going to take me down so this is what i saw this section looks a bit dull so we are going to play around with it uh, in just a second but let's test out all of these other sections i think they work just fine so all of it moves and looks great there we go last section so when i click on it it's going to take us back to the first one and to the first one there we go that's all fine so finally what i'm going to do is adjust these ones so what i need to do here is select them from here because this is the first time when we actually played around with these cards so what i'm going to do is actually switch to design select the card inside of this card and nudge it out like so and perhaps maybe move these three texts in just a little bit so that we can give it a bit more of a visual interest and do the same for this one maybe right to here then select it here and do exactly the same effect because remember we have all of these elements looking exactly the same so i'm going to nudge these three to roughly around here maybe something like that and i'm going to select this one so you can see why i'm using xd instead of code because it's super simple to achieve this effect right here to test it out to see if it actually works and then if it does work then you can go ahead and apply it in code without losing any time other benefits are you can actually preview all of your designs so not just this page but any other page that you have on your design so let's preview this one more time see how it looks like there we go so everything works as it should if you think that it's a bit too slow then you can adjust it to one second but i think two seconds are actually quite good and now you can see we have a bit more visual interest with these cards rolling into place and i'm using center for the clicking because i can just hold my mouse right here and it's going to move from frame to frame and from artboard to artboard or from section to section
That's it for this video. I really hope you liked it and I really hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, make sure to press that like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I upload new content every single week, just like this one, all about Adobe XD, UI UX design and so much more. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, take care.